minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mission and lift off of Transport of War. Pitching gun range. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. We're at T plus 40 seconds, awesome views from Falcon 9, punching through the clouds. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and we're currently throttling down in preparation for max Q at T plus one minute and 12 seconds. This is where the stage will experience the maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. There's max Q. Everything is looking good with stage one trajectory. Beautiful view of the clouds in the background there. In just about a minute, we will have three events coming up in pretty quick succession. There's Miko, which is main engine cutoff, stage separation, which is when the first and second stages separate and SES-1, where that single MVAC engine on the second stage will ignite, carrying... Start of MVAC engine chill. You heard the call out for the start of that MVAC engine chill prior getting ready for that second engine start of. Really cool plumes from Falcon 9. We're under 30 seconds to main engine cutoff. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> MVAC ignition. There you heard and saw this. Three events happen back to back. Main engine cut off, stage separation, and second engine startup one. You can see those grid fins deploying on the first stage there. In just a few seconds, we should have fairing. Fairing separation confirmed. There's that confirmation of fairing separation. You can see the two fairing halves have separated from the vehicle, exposing the 40 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. Now, today's mission marks the first flight for both of those fairing halves, and we will be attempting to recover those in the, from the water once they fall back down to Earth. Now, we're currently in our first of three MVAC burns. Now, this first burn should last until about T plus 10 minutes. And the next milestones will be the first stage booster's entry burn. So Falcon 9 executes an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Without this entry burn, relying on just the atmosphere to slow down Falcon 9 would put unnecessary strain on the rocket's structure. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. The Transporter 4 mission, again, is SpaceX's fourth dedicated small sat rideshare program mission and the 12th mission of 2022. SpaceX is targeting at least three dedicated rideshare flights to sun-synchronous orbit per year, and we also offer opportunities to ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple weeks or so. Small sats can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, as well as Starship in the not-too-distant future. 
can see on those live views from the first stage on your left, that Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. And stage one is using these grid fins for steering as it makes its way back down to Earth. Second stage is looking good on the right there in the middle of its first burn, the first of three burns. Those white puffs of gas that you may occasionally see from this first stage are from the, from the attitude control system, and those are nitrogen gas. That's nit